Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 3 and 4 of Dust Made It Up Amnesia, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 and 3, 2, 1, go. The cell one girl ain't it. No. Oh. I, I just oh, okay, okay. I mean, but someone is clearly watching y'all, but I. It, I'm hungry. I want food. I should not have watched working first and then this. I should have watched this first, then working, because then I could have cried the whole entire hour and been like, oh my god, I am so hungry because like my stomach is growling. <laughs> and I want food. I think I'm going to cook myself something. Cook my dinner at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Okay, so what does the letter say? No. <laughs> That's the girl behind you. Of course. Question. No way. Why are we meeting in the deepest part of the forest? Next to her grave. I think this is why sometimes you don't you know you don't go. If you have a weird feeling about a letter No one is just the only one who don't see her. Oh. 
But she doesn't seem like that, though. She's nice and sweet. I mean, you know, yeah, in episode one, kind of two, she did, you know, do that ish. But well, yeah, because in the end, they might become something that's not good. The next thing you know, somebody gets possessed by them. And then next thing you know, exorcism. But you know he's not going to stay away from her. So you can see her. No, I don't think you can mind. I mean, this is only episode three, so I, I can't really per se, but she's nice. But then at the same time, looks can be deceiving at times, you know. Go, honey. Of course. You know, she's kind of like, um, what was his name from Hanukkah? The boy. She's gonna look exactly like that in that tree. Come here, baby.
It's all pigeon. Even though she says that to you, that could be lies. American Horror Story in a nutshell for season one. Blessed. <laughs> and overcoming it. Uh. Yeah, that's where her body is. I mean, you know, last week's episodes were good. This is dark, but you know what? I love it. And I just feel like it's going to get darker and darker the more we get into it. Benia doesn't want that. Oh my god!
Mm, it's okay. You got scared and it's fine. Sure. Oh, her leg. Of course, there's all it, it, that usually happens with retelling a story over and over again. Someone's gonna tell stories. Yeah, but then at the same time, you could be wrong. No, don't worry, because you're joining the club soon. There she comes. Baby. <laughs> you know, what if there's still more spirits inside this school that we don't even see? See? Yeah, because Mumbai is clearly. <laughs> See? That's why we don't build stuff on shrines, whatever, because you don't know what they Basically. Okay, I have to say, like, oh, God, this is a really good episode, but just the cutest moment and serene moment <laughs> with me just telling people how he sees her. Like, oh, my God, like, come on, like, that made me cry. I think that would make anyone cry. But seeing her true form, honestly, it's not scary to me because as someone who loves horror and it's like that, like, that's just a walk in the park for me. But yes, to someone else, it is going to be really, really creepy. But since there is another figure, it's 
spirit, something in the school that we're possibly going to meet later on in the series. I mean, I'm not mad at that. I'm not even surprised about that because if it, Yuko can't be the only one there. There has to be so many others there as well. I mean, not to go back to Hanako Kun, but Hanako Kun had like 13, even though we didn't get to see all of them. We got to see at least, I think, 10. I don't remember. I think at least like half of the group, but not everyone. But I mean, oh. Like, that just warmed my heart. It made me cry at the same time. They're just so cute. And I love them so much. And they're just so adorable. He, they're just, they're right for each other. Even though she did, they right for each other. It, it just, it just works because they just, the, the compassion and the chemistry that they have with each other and the fact that they really love each other, even though they haven't really confessed to each other, but just the feelings that I get when they're around each other and everything, it's just so fucking sweet. And I can't just think, like, ah, uh, you know, because everybody wants that guy or girl. You want someone who accepts you for who you are and not, um, like, if someone's putting on a facade, a mask or whatever, like, everything, you know, your likes, your dislikes, your fetishes, your, um, what are you good at? What are you not good at? It's like that. But, okay, I, I was not expecting that little twist of them being relatives. I, I was expecting it to be like, oh, well, she just knows the story and this is not the third, but oh. That's your aunt! <laughs> oh my god. Well, you know what? This is, honestly, it's interesting because she gets to finally, like, almost in a way, have a relationship with her aunt, even though her aunt is dead. I don't know if she's going to be, if Kitty A is going to be welcoming towards Yuko, or if, you, well, because Yuko ain't really welcoming now because <laughs> it came up this Years. Of course, Miss Yuko was jealous. I mean, this is Alberto we're talking about. I mean, she jealous of Shell Tear every single time when, you know, Shell Tear is like, mm, I am so bad. I am so bad. Oh my god. Ah, this might have to be my favorite role for her because, like, I mean, really, it's between this. Alberto and then her is talking to an idol master and I, I think she's been in some other things that I've seen. She's in that one ninja series that I've I've I haven't watched it. But I've just seen ish like all on the internet and then all on Twitter because one person who I follow like loves to tweet nothing but it but it and it's just interesting. But like mm, she's a really good VA. Like, oh my god. But yes, like I mean, at first, going back to episode last week and how I was like, how in the world can this work? Because she's a ghost and he's human. And it's like now going into week two with this show, I'm like, you know what? It just works. My bad. It just works. No matter what. Because it's just the love that they have for each other. It's just so cute and I can't. And I want to cry again. Because, like, they're just so cute and, like... I mean, she she's a tease, but like Mia, <laughs> Mia is just so adorable. You have to love him. He's just like he's that one boy that like every girl has a crush on, but he's just I don't think he's he's not like a typical guys who immediately knows that someone has a crush on him because it's kind of like that with him and um. <laughs> Because Moe has a crush on him, but it, it seems like Mia has a crush on him, but no, he also likes Yuko, so it's like one big, mm, mm. and that's why sometimes, you know, when you're watching a show and it has a group of harems, and yeah, and if it's just one girl or one guy, and you're like, 
who do you want them to be with? And it's just like, yep, start placing your bets now, people, because, you know, we're all going to be heartbroken by the end of this series. You know, only one girl will be able to be with this guy. This guy is not going to choose anyone else. The girl ain't going to choose anyone else. So there's always that one superior girl who is at the top of the food chain. And then everyone else, the guy, the girls and the guys are at the bottom and they are the rejects. And it is hard to, like, see that. So, it's okay. I feel like it's going to happen because you you can see it. But the fact is that Momoa cannot see you go. I think Mia's going to eventually have to tell her, like, I, I like you, but not as, you know, that as, like, a friend. Almost like how when Agaragi had to let my best girl <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to talk about but I got that even uh, just like even talking about it or even thinking about that moment from uh, freaking Monogatti like it, it hurts because she's literally the best girl besides you know Sanjana Hara but just saying no to her like was one of the most hardest things to see as a female, because as a female, you, you know how she feels, and it's just like, ah, but I, I can't, it hurts, but it was a good episode, <laughs> a really good episode, but yeah, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four, okay, episode four and three, two, one, go, nope, do it again, three, Two, one, go. Haha, <laughs> 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 milk. <laughs> Um. <laughs> 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 she tried. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, because Kenny, you seem like a person who, you know. Yeah, you kind of get scared easily. Why don't you talk to her? Okay, so that thing got unlocked just in case because oof. I don't think, yeah, it should be clear in a second. See? Well, if you would just talk to her. Mm-hmm. He's usually scared too. <laughs> mm hmm. Chum <Chum-yai. laughs> No, no, that is a bad idea. Have you not seen horror movies, honey? Thank you. I mean, it'd be worse if all three of y'all go together and one of y'all say, let's split up. And I'm just going to be like, what was the point of saying that? The presence that you felt in the previous episode.
because of the possibility that this evil spirit could be possessing people, maybe. Now you about to be alone. It's okay to be tough. Why do his eyes do that? <laughs> no, you were scared. Maybe the spirit is, as, you know, Kiyay said in the previous episode, her, like, maybe you goes, like, to feelings. Even though she doesn't remember certain things, that could be just her evil side, possibly. I don't know. We, they were trying to knock on the door.
Yeah, there's no reason for her to sleep. The rock of curses. The heck is that? And just the top. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. Uh. But I'm guessing he did die, right? She wants to be alone with you. That's all she wanted.
that wrong. What if her name is written on the rock? It is, isn't it? Of course, you did. <laughs> With marker. That's how we end in this episode. Okay, but still, if it's not Yuko's emotions, regrets, whatever, it's got to be something else that doesn't really have to do with her. But maybe teeny tiny bit does have to do with her. I don't know. I mean, from that last little picture and the way and how tall the spirit looks, it looks like the same height as her. The date was so cute. Like, oh my god, that was so fucking romantic. And fun. And funny. <laughs> Poor baby, though. <laughs> it was an interesting episode, but, like, yes. Poor baby. I mean, she was there at the school by herself for summer. And lonely. I get that. And of course she's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> it's almost like hmm Hanako still. <laughs> but they never really Hanako never really did an episode where um Yashido left for like the summer or break, whatever, and he was alone and such. We always had an episode that literally um, was always as full. Just like with this show. But something tells me with this other spirit in the school, like, 
we're only seeing seeing the shadowy figure of her or him, but it's possibly or her. This is now episode four, and I have where by next week we'll be at the halfway point of this show. Um, there's got to be a point that we'll see maybe like I want to say it's face. And what I mean by that, like the skin and everything, right now it's all darkened and blackened and of course you can't see it. So literally it could be anything, but because of the fact is, like I said, she's around the same height as Yuko. It would make the most sense for that to be Yuko. But if it's not her, then did somebody else also get killed the same day as Yuko-san when she tripped and fell and broke her leg and no one was able to rescue her and she remained the rest of her days down there until she died. There could have possibly been because there's still a lot of unanswered questions leading up to Yuko-san's death. So hopefully episode five to the end of the series kind of goes a little more into that. I mean, I've already been told by one person that when I'm done with this, I should go ahead and read the manga. And maybe the manga possibly does have a little more information that the anime has. Because like sometimes, and I'm not going to say every anime that I've seen does this, but there have been some, not all, especially when it's something that if you've read the source material before the anime has come out, 50 out of 50, you're not really going to have every little detail come out from the manga be portrayed in the anime. This is kind of the same thing with... Um, book adaptated movies or book adaptated tv shows when you're really anticipating like a moment or several moments from a book and then you go see the movie and you're like what is this like why wasn't this in there why wasn't that in there like this these big iconic moments that happen in these books or in the mangas or in the light novels whatever and you don't really get to see them some people like Oh god, I can't believe I'm about to talk about this. Like, okay, when Twi when Twilight was like the ish, and I read book one. Book one took me took me a it took me a week, and then the other one took me like a twenty four hours. Um, when I read book one, and then I went to go see the movie. There was one. There was like a couple of scenes I kept wondering, like why they weren't there. Then the DVD comes out. I watch the DVD. I go into the Blu-ray. I'm into the Blu-ray, like the special features and everything, and they're all in there. But there are some people that I have met who get really, really like angry if their most anticipated moment in a book or whatever isn't in it because it feels like maybe the show and its dynamic kind of completely tips over and it's not as good as it was anymore but then it's like I mean it's not as a, as an example Dust Maiden the book the TV show it's gonna have it, it's a TV show called Dust Maiden of Amnesia which is still based on the anime but you're not gonna have a 50 or not, not a 50 a 100% authentication of the whole entire story that's the same thing with Car Captain Sakura or any other freaking anime that comes out. Because, of course, they're going to leave a lot of things out. Like, last week's episode of Sora Online. With the fact is that the show ended on them going into the underworld. And we're in space. And I'm sitting here looking like, wait, what in the world is going on? I'm so confused. As someone who has not read the light novel. And other people who have probably not let, read the light novel. And who are only anime-only people. We all sitting here wondering what the heck is going on. And them light novels are like people just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I understand what's going on. So I'm over here, I'm like, what does this have to do with what? <laughs> and so, I mean, and that's why I'm really grateful for people who are like, okay, let me go ahead and just take the time and explain why they went ahead and showed something as dumb as this. Or um, without explaining it a little bit more and... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's one of many shows that have done it. And there's going to be so many shows in the future that are also going to do ish like that, and no matter what. Just don't be mad at the end of the day. Don't be mad if, like, something that you really, 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 really want is not in the anime or in the TV show or in the movie. It's okay. You'll get over it. Mm -hmm. It may take a little while, but you get over it. But still, it's just whoever the spirit is, it's got to be someone. 
someone else to possibly die the exact same day, maybe a day, a day later, a day before, then you go son. Maybe. That's my little hunch right now. And so we supposedly get our answer, which I'm guessing we're not, if we're going to five and six next week, or maybe this weekend by the time, I'll probably watch it this weekend, because I only have like two shows this Saturday, either Saturday or Sunday. Um, I'd say episode seven to ten, I might get my answers as of right now. Maybe not the answers that I truly want, but yeah, probably seven, eight, nine, ten. That's when we're gonna get like anything I truly need to know. But yeah, don't even tell me if I, if if I'm wrong, don't even tell me. If I'm right, don't even tell me. I don't want to know. I want to wait until I get there. Even if I, if we come into next week and I say, okay, I want them answers now. No, don't tell me. Okay. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode three and four of the Decimated of Amnesia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.